Granit Xhaka is arguably one of the most polarising players at Arsenal Football Club. Since joining the Gunners in 2016, the Swiss has received a record 5 red cards, and after a fateful moment on the 27th of October 2019 culminated in Xhaka being stripped of captaincy and ridiculed by the Arsenal faithful. Even Granit himself admitted when speaking to the Players' Tribune, my bags were packed, the passports were out, I was done with Arsenal, finished. But since the arrival of young Mikel Arteta, Granit Xhaka has found himself a new role at Arsenal Football Club. Involved heavily in the young Spaniards' plans, Arsenal benefited from a 53% win record in the Premier League when the Swiss plays, compared to only 45% when he doesn't. And it seems Granit is loving being coached on Arteta, with himself admitting that without him I would not be here in this football club anymore. Despite Xhaka rekindling his love for Arsenal, he couldn't help the Gunners during their capitulation at the end of last season, sacrificing the sought after Champions League spot to bitter North London rivals Tottenham Hotspur. However, the start of the 2022 23 Premier League season is a new dawn and a new opportunity for both Granit Xhaka and Arsenal Football Club. And with two confident wins to start the season against both Crystal Palace and Leicester City, the Gunners have caught the eye of a few notable pundits. Granit Xhaka himself has had his Arsenal position completely reformed. Having previously been treated as a defensive midfielder and deep-lying playmaker, Arteta has tried one final roll of the dice, implementing Xhaka as a box-to-box -box traditional number 8. Despite only two games of evidence, the early signs are that this position change is a masterstroke by tactician Mikel Arteta. Granit is able to crop up in extremely advanced positions for Arsenal, culminating in him receiving the second most touches in the opposition penalty box in a recent Arsenal victory against Leicester City. His late darting runs into the box are a defensive nightmare to cope with, especially when defenders are already preoccupied by the prolific Gabriel Jesus and the sensational talents of both Gabriel Martinelli and Bukayo Saka. With Granit Xhaka having the license to charge up the field, there is a caveat of the gaping hole left in midfield. However, the inclusion of brand new star signing Alexander Zinchenko into the first 11 means the inverted fullback can provide adequate cover in midfield. The Ukrainian is adept at playing in the middle of the park, as that is where he most features for his country. We also know Granit Xhaka has experience filling in that left back. Mikel Arteta has utilised this to full effect by interchanging Xhaka and Zinchenko's positions on the fly throughout Arsenal's first two fixtures this season, as shown by Granit Xhaka's 2022-23 positional heat map thus far. The perfect rationale is that by keeping Granit closer to the opposition's penalty box and further from Arsenal's, he is less likely to suffer from rash decision making and lapses in concentration which have resulted in goals conceded and fans disgruntlement in previous years. Despite Arsenal's continued interest in acquiring a new number 8 this summer transfer window, with Leicester City's Yuri Tielemans being touted as the number one option, it is apparent Arteta has found his perfect box to box midfielder. It seems only yesterday Xhaka was ridiculed as an aggressive rash midfielder expecting to leave North London, yet now Arteta views him as an experienced professional and a stalwart in midfield for this new era Arsenal side. Let us know your thoughts of Granit Xhaka in the comment section down below and whether you still believe Arsenal should sign a new midfielder. And if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe. Our next analysis will be of Arsenal's young French centre-back William Saliba and his impressive start to life in North London. But until then, 